for do. Here we go. So um, the setup I use is, I think, three crossbowmen, one archer, uh, one swords, and the rest, and then a, a thing of ballista. So, yeah, that's exactly what I use. So at the beginning, I just position them so they run in. I hold them uh, so they end up, you know, doing this fight here. And then I advance them to take off the archer, and then I hold them again. And I keep the ballista on advance uh, throughout, I think, the entire battle. So you can see here the ballista is going to go forward. But uh, the Ballista has a slightly longer range than the archers, so he can take out all four archers without losing any troops. So that's um, a little way of, of saving troops there. Now, once you bust down the gates, these Axemen will come running. Uh, I have everybody hold except for the Ballista once again. Um, and the Ballista will go to the next gate, but because he never held, he ends up going after the Axemen. So you can see that. Now, the reason I don't advance everybody to attack that gate is because they actually just end up climbing the towers and skipping the gates. The gates, So the Ballista gets stuck outside, which is bad. So don't do that. Um, the next part here, after the gate's destroyed, is I send the Ballista in to take out the archers. Now, I'm not 100% positive that the catapult would not attack the Ballista. So I do send in the whole army uh, just to make sure the Ballista doesn't get killed. But... From that range, it looks like the Ballista can kill the archers without being attacked. But I, once again, I don't risk it. And then I'm just having everybody, you know, go running and attack. I hold the Ballista. And then I hold everybody right here. And then once enough damage is done to the wall, I send in just the swords on advance and holding everybody else. And now the battle's over. You don't even have to watch it. Um, you just got to make sure that the swords don't get sent in too early to kill the gate they're working on before the Ballista kills... Um, the wall.